Shalom, brothers and sisters. I want to make something very clear if I haven't made it clear enough yet. If you've been with the channel for a long time or from the beginning, you'll know this. But I'm going to say it again for everyone who's joined recently. As a pastor, I am telling you, just because someone calls themselves pastor does not make them proper, legit pastor called by God into that position. No, there are many wolves in sheep's clothing and many just tack on the name pastor because they want that recognition and the ability to do what they need to do for evil or darkness or their own benefit and we see that more and more and more with the horrifying stories coming out of the church right now and that is these wolves in sheep's clothing and that is a part unfortunately of the end times, of a great deception and false leaders and evil people, hirelings that are put there so that they can lead others astray. Now more than ever, we should be Bereans, we should be watching, we should hold them to a standard of what God calls people to be in ministry. So this story, a female pastor says Jesus would take women to get abortions and would be a clinic escort. Have they even read the Bible? Do they understand God? And the answer, unfortunately, is yes, because they are working against him and they are working against truth. So they do the exact opposite of what is truth. And they say, this is right. Evil is good and good is evil. She makes the blasphemous claim that Jesus would not only condone taking the life of a baby in the womb but would even take women to get the procedure done with a full escort and he would lash out at anybody trying to stop people from killing babies or provide them with another option or opinion it is truly sick and evil how dark this world has become and i want to tell you this is not the right jesus this is a false jesus that she follows Kind of like the Islamic Jesus. It is a completely different creature. It is not God. It is not the Savior. It is not Him who came down and died on the cross for your sins. It is not that same Jesus. And you need only open your New Testament to see that. So brace yourself. I'm going to attach the video here. Part of what she said. Because she rants on in her evil deception for a long time. But this is an example of those hirelings, those false prophets, those wolves in sheep's clothing. Be weary. Shalom. If Jesus were here today, he would be a clinic escort, distracting women from the hatred of the protesters, or an abortion doula, holding women's hands and offering support and love as they end their pregnancies. And I expect he would have a stern word for self-righteous legislators who use abortion as a political issue rather than showing compassion for the people seeking abortions. Today, on this Row Sunday, I wanted to share some of the stories we have collected because these are the sacred stories of women's lives. If Jesus were giving his sermon today, he might also have said, Blessed are those who end pregnancies, for they will be known for their loving kindness.